So the topic right now is systems of linear equation. So in some books you will hear, you will see simultaneous equations, simultaneous equation. That's what you will see in some books. As a matter of fact, if you're reading European books, that's what you will get, simultaneous equations. So they are the same thing. So systems of linear equation. Now the word system, the English word system, what does it mean? I need, I need um, a volunteer to answer that. The word system, just system alone. Wait, what was the question? Sorry. What does the word, the English word system, system, the one I just highlighted above, what does it mean? Forget about math. Is it like um, a collection? A collection of, of? Equations? A linear equation? I say forget about math. I say just the word system. Okay, thank you for the uh, effort anyway. Anaya, go ahead. What does the word system mean? Isn't it like a, um, a set of principles, like things working together? Like yes a set of things that uh, you can put together okay a set of things you can put together have you wondered why pgcps is called uh, prince georgia county public school system all right a set of schools so a system is a set of things that you put together so in this case if it's talking about linear equation so it is basically talking about at least two equations that are linear that are put together that's it so now let us, first of all, in order for us to establish systems of linear equation, let us just establish the first one. So I need somebody to remind us about the general equation of a linear equation, the general formula. If you will, you can call it a slope intercept form. That's what some of you call it. So what is this? Y equals mx plus b. Okay, y equal to mx plus b. That's correct. So that's just one. This is one. If we have this type of thing, if we have it two times, we have just created a system of equation. So if we say this is mx1 plus b1, we have another one, y2 equal to mx2 plus b2. We have two equations. So now, in this case, we have two equations with two unknown. We don't know the value of y. We don't know the value of x. So you can say there are two unknowns. So if you decide to transpose this one to the left side, you are going to get y1 minus mx1 equal to b1. If you repeat the same thing on this one, you are going to have um, y2 minus uh, m x2 equal to b2 okay if you rearrange it if you you can rearrange it if you want to, you can rearrange this thing to be negative m x1 plus y1 equal to b1 or you can rearrange the second one to be negative m x2 plus um y2 equal to b2 so anytime you have two equations with two unknown, you can arrange it in this form. You can arrange it in this very format. So once you arrange it in that format, the now the next the next to solve it. How do you solve it? Okay. So let's just Why give a typical you? example that could be. Let's just uh, give an example of equations that could be arranged in that form. So for example, let's say, um, let me give this example so that we can move on. X plus two Y equal to three. And then X minus two Y equal to four. By the way, this system of equation is not different from the one you learned in algebra one in an, in, and uh, algebra two. It's not different. So what, what, what I'm just doing right now is reviewing what you, sh what you should have known. So now if you compare, if you compare um, this, you will discover that your M is one. Your M here is also one. Your Y in uh, here in the first one is two. 
uh, uh, it looks like um, yeah. And then your Y two here, your Y here. Uh, this one is also two. Okay. So now the question becomes, how do you solve it? So that takes us to methods of solution. So methods of solution. So I want you to recall different methods you can use in solving systems of equation because uh, you, you, you did that in algebra one, you did that in algebra two as well. So give me the methods. You can use substitution, elimination. Okay, one, one after the other. Let's just write substitution first. Substitution. Next person who hasn't said anything. If you have not said anything now, this is your chance. Go. Hello, I have 40 students here. Only two people are talking. Jefferson, what's the next step of another step of solving systems of uh, equation? Jefferson. Aziri, go ahead. Not for sad. Graphing. Uh, somebody say, who said graphing? Mention your first name. Jo Joshua. Okay, so I'm going to write graphing. Uh, completing the square is not used. It is used in a, a um, quadratic equation. Uh, who else? Yeah. Next person. Elimination. Elimination. Just mention your first name. What? Okay. Elimination is one of it. Uh, what else? Any other method you can remember? That's all. Uh, okay, there is at least there is one more. Uh, Would four. distributing be one? Uh, not quite. Let me write the fourth one. It's called uh, matrix. Uh, mat matrices. Okay. So, so let's just stick to these four right now. But for today, we are going to uh, deal with uh, at least two. We are going to deal with at least two of them. So now let's use this. We are going to deal with substitution and um, elimination. So let's use the uh, equation that we have. All right. So let me just rewrite it and then we take it from there. X plus two Y equal to three. And then X minus two Y equal to four. You can call this equation one can call this equation two. The reason why you identify and label equation one and two is because it might help you to um, identify the equation you are working with. So now, if we are using substitution, so let's say using substitution. So now you have to pick any of these two equations, any of them. And then you, you solve for either X or Y. That's the first step. So pick one of them. Make your choice quickly. Number, number one. Number one. Okay, if you're picking number one. So um, you are going to get, you can say from equation one, you are going to get X equal to, you have to transfer, this is plus, you have to move it. To the right side and when you move a number to the other side it changes the sign so you are going to have three minus two y then you can call this equation three so now what you do is you substitute equation three into uh the other equation you haven't worked on so substitute equation three into two okay so that means whenever you see X on equation two, just put three minus two Y. So in that case, if we do that, that's going to be um, three minus two Y to replace, to replace this one, minus, um, hold on, minus yes, two Y equal to four. All right. Then in that case, you have to collect like terms. So collect like terms, 2y minus 2y gives you 3 minus 4y equal to 4. In this case, now you'll be solving for y. So you will move 3 to the right side, move 3 to the right side. So, and it is positive, so it's going to change to negative. So you are going to get negative 4y equal to 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is um, 1 negative 4y equal to 1. 
So now remember you are solving for y. So in that case, you have to divide both sides by negative 4y. Divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. So you'll be left with y equal to negative 1 over 4. So this is the value of y. So the next thing you do, the next thing you do will be to substitute. The next thing you do is to substitute the value of um, y minus 4 into either equation 1 or equation 3. So, so since we already have equation 3 and it, it, it helps us to solve for x, so we can just use it. So you can say substitute y equal to negative 1 over 4 into equation 3. So once you do that, you are going to have that x is equal to um, 3 minus 2 bracket negative 1 over 4. OK? So now this is a, a simplification now. Negative times negative is positive. Five. So this is positive. 2 divided by 4 is um, 1 over 2. 1 over 2. And then that's a uh, plus 3. That's equal to x. OK? So you simplify this one. If you simplify it, you are going to get 6 plus 1 over 2, which is 7 over 2. So x is equal to 7 over 2. Y is equal to negative 1 over 4. Mr. Kevin? Yes? Where did you get 6 plus 1 over 2? Um, this, um, let me rewrite it here. Let me rewrite um, beside it. So hold on. You have 3 over 1 plus 1 over 2, right? Mm -hmm. Lowest common denominator is 2. Mm -hmm. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Oh, okay. Plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. That's how you get 7 over 2. Okay, thank you. On the other hand, you can say, you can just multiply this by 2 and this by 2. So that's going to give you 6 over 2 plus 1 over 2. And um, uh, the denominator is the same. You, you keep it and then you add the numerator, 6 plus 1, 7 over 2. So that explains substitution method.